Hey okay, guys, uh, welcome back. Um, we're gonna go over quickly how to uh, fix these problems that we have. So we grab this right here and we just slide it slightly over. And about right there should be good. Uh, this wall right here is gonna have to be moved as well. So we're gonna grab it. Wait, ooh. Make sure you individually click the wall whenever you're dragging over. As you saw, they both just kind of moved. We gotta actually fix this one again. You gotta kind of line them up as close as possible. You can actually go in and change these numbers. Uh, as I showed you before, see this is our green area, so we would have to change this uh, so that these guys are perfectly aligned, but I'm not gonna do that for this video because we're trying to freehand and do stuff uh, a little differently. We're gonna fly down here and make sure we don't have any issues here, which we don't. We had plenty of blocks, so. It was just a little off when I read the calculations earlier. Uh, as you guys see, I don't do like precision calculations for this video. You should. Um, it would really help so you don't have to do stuff like this, but for me, it's no big deal to just drag it. it shouldn't be a big deal for you either. Um, so now we're back and, and we're, we're looking at detail here, and we're gonna go into some pretty cool stuff I'm gonna show you. Uh, designing this scene, that there's some things we have to think about. First of all, this isn't a different block. Uh, I took this floor and I duplicated it. And I drug the new floor up. And make sure you got the right one or you'll end up with problems like this. If you ever end up with this problem, let's go there. I didn't actually duplicate the floor. That is why we had the issue. As you can probably guess, I was probably hitting shift. So let's lift this floor above. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to zoom out. And we're gonna change the scale of this floor because we need something over here. Um, when you're building like this, you have to think too. Let's go ahead and play a scene for a moment. We can't block this entrance, but we also can't block this right here, right? So we're gonna have to put this floor in about right here. So we have this gap so our guy can still come up. Uh, you can change the way your flooring is to, to make this a little less uh, aggravating for you. We're going to stick a little tiny block in right here to attach these two um, since we're already landed pretty smoothly right there. Uh, I'm going to make a tiny block out of this floor. I'm going to show you how to scale this and change it and fit it in places that you want. We're going to do that right now. So we're going to come to here and we're going to press We're going to get above it so we can see what we're uh, working with. Um, we're going to go ahead and change the scale of this. Again, make sure you have one, otherwise you'll end up with that issue. Okay, simply changing the scale here. Uh, if you do rotation, just set it back to what it was. Simply changing the scale here, we now have a smaller block that's much easier to use and we can manipulate it in the way that we need to to, uh, to fill in this gap. So we're gonna pull this block here and then we're gonna 
push this block out over here and we'll get above it again. Okay, so now we're pretty snug. We're, we're, we're stuck right here. So um, what we want to do is we want to check and see this one's 18 by 8. Um, so it's 18 that way and 8 out this way. So we'll just go ahead and change this one to 8 too. And now we have to pull out. Uh, you don't have to get it perfect, but I mean, the better you get it, the better it's going to look. Uh, and now we need to come across here, so we're going to have to change another one of these uh, values. So let's go ahead, double click this, and our X value is what's going to bring us. See, that shoots out right, and it'll come left too. So when you follow these arrows, just make sure you, you know, pretend there's another arrow on this side. And that's the best way to help you. So we need to come out this way. We're at three right now. Let's go. Let's say we're going to need about seven. Okay, we're going to need more than seven. Actually, that might be actually kind of perfect. Hey, let's play C and see what we got. I can tell you right now, we're not going to fit. Okay, so here's the problem. As you can see, uh, you got to be able to fit up here. Um, you could use a stair. A little different type of staring to get up here uh, but the problem is is that you have to have a scalable so your character can climb it so sometimes we have to get a little creative uh, so that we can ensure that we reach we have a height issue right here so let's back out let's get back on top We're going to zoom in, and as you adjust this, you have to understand you're going to have to adjust this as well. Um, actually, if we pull out, sorry I keep using that term, uh, if we pull away and we look, uh, we can move this over to here. Let's see what happens now. Looks like that might work. And it does, it works. There's just enough room here for us to get up and down. But we are getting kind of caught when we're on the outside. So let's go ahead and shrink it just a little bit.
Hey guys, that's driven me kind of crazy, so. I'm gonna cheat. I just made a big mistake, guys. Uh, this is your... See, sometimes you do this wrong, you'll come here and you'll say, okay, the list will line up. It doesn't actually work that way. My mistake, I forgot we need to do a little math. Uh, I don't feel like doing that. You won't either. So you can get this just right. I think we're good. Okay, let's play our scene. Make sure we can get up here. So yeah, we have no problem coming on the outside here. There's no issue. Uh, we are gonna need railing for our stairs um, or to build some kind of object here too. Make sure you don't fall, unless you want falling as uh, an issue here then you can take fall damage or whatever uh, but basically that's how we we scale that and then we would go and back out you would go above you could click come down here we would hit duplicate again Drag this up. Or you could do it from this floor. I'm, I'm just gonna tr bring this over here with me. Okay, so now we're pretty much completely encased. Um, we've created the base for our second floor. Uh, I gotta, I'll take this flooring and I'll put this little block here. And you'll just make this look a little neater. Um, but we have our second floor now. So we can start building up here uh, as soon as we're down, done with down here. So I just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Uh, this is our third tutorial and we're talking about how to use objects to make other objects You'll notice that the coloring on this is different um, It's actually different because the light we have a light source over here that is that is shining on it somehow um, It's probably a main light if we back out we can probably see it but that light is actually illuminating this and As you can see right here where we put the lights. It's the same color um, we can shade that out and work with it if we want to keep it dark like this but we can change things around um, but now we have a second level and uh, when we get this done eventually we're gonna expand the world um, I think we'll just go with two levels on this uh, we'll start getting in a little architecture on this outside um, 
we'll start looking at archers and all sorts of other things that we can do with this. I'll see you guys next video.